Hi everyone, Chris Hendricks here. We're going to talk a little bit about chairs today. Um, I see a lot of stuff about buying ergonomic chairs, what kind of chairs you should have. My clients ask me all the time, well, should I get this chair or that chair, or you know, should I get a back support or anything like that? Well, frankly, all of that stuff, it misses the point. Um, here's the thing that you really got to pay attention to, um, that all of that stuff about chairs and about ergonomic designs and all that really misses one of the most fundamental problems with chairs. So let's get down to the real basics of it. And once you solve this one particular problem with chairs, most of the rest of them just go away. Okay? So here we go. You got your standard chair. This is uh, what we use in my house for <laughs> sitting on, for dining, for working, for pretty much everything. And you'll notice that, you know, it fits the platonic idea of a chair. So, here it is, in a nutshell. Here is the essential problem. If you look at the chair, you will note that the front of the chair is higher than the back of the chair. Okay, so what, you say? <laughs> Big deal, that doesn't make any sense to me at all. Well, here's the thing. The chair slopes backwards. The front of the chair pushes up. The bottom of the chair is lower. It suggests that you're going backwards. And I'll show you an even more important part about that in a second when I sit on it. But the idea is that if you sit in a chair like this, and trust me, 98, 99% of chairs out there are just like this in one form or another. The back is lower than the front. Look around, you'll see. The problem is that it pushes you backwards all the time. And most of the time when people sit in chairs, they're trying to go forwards. They're trying to work at their computer, they're trying to talk on the phone, work at a desk, uh, any number of those things, play an instrument, all that kind of stuff all requires going forward. And if the chair's pushing you backwards and you're trying to go forwards, you're fighting the chair. So that may not be a problem if you do it for a couple of days or a week, but over a period of years, what I call my law of small insults, tells you that this sort of thing for a long period of time will result in stiffness, soreness, lack of motion, lack of range of motion, hypermobility, too much motion, in other areas. So putting too much stress on some areas and not enough stress on another area, which in the long term is not a good thing for you. So let's get in the chair and then I'll show you a couple of things that uh, biomechanically create problems because of the chair and then I'll show you very simple and easy solutions that you can use that don't cost hundreds and thousands of dollars. Hi, I'm Chris Hendricks. Thanks for your interest in my videos. I appreciate it. I'd like to give you a copy of the video you've just seen, plus quite a few others. All the answers to the top questions I get from my clients about body work, ergonomics, and how to solve everyday stresses and strains. Please visit the URL you see at the bottom of the page here, and I'll give you access to all of them absolutely free. Thanks very much. See you soon.